Today we'll be making the mobile base for the sliding table saw which is very heavy. It's an industrial 12 inch machine which weighs about 400 kilograms which is more or less 800 pounds. So for that we have to select the, the steel angle bar which is uh, not faint-hearted. It can cope with 400 kg. So let me show you my choice is 5.5 millimeters thick and 48.5 millimeters long. I measured the base of the machine and it's 770 mm. That's why I'll be cutting to 780 mm. To make the welded mobile base stronger, we will use this method rather than miter. So we will cut out this square and then this, this way we will have three welded edges, one, two and three. So now I'm going to cut out the square. Okay. Okay. So you can see now what we were trying to achieve here. We want to cut out this little rectangle, which then will allow the other piece to, to be welded on three edges. Okay, I cut it too short, so I'm going to do it again. Looks good. So now I moved the frame to the welding table and I used the magnet for the corners so that will guarantee that every corner is square and that the whole frame is perfectly flat because I know that my welding table is perfectly flat. Okay, so I have the caster, which is foot caster uh, GD60F and I tested it on my other machines which were 1100 pounds or 460 kg and they did very well over time. They didn't uh, change the geometry and they are working perfectly fine. So I'm very happy with these casters. So now because I have the plates which are not perfectly matching the base of this caster 
I'm marking the corner holes and here as well. And I'm not going to cut it, I will weld it and we will actually have more stiffness. The, the welded joint will be longer so that will actually give me more strength. Okay, done. Now I will proceed to the drill press and drill these holes. We are going to drill M7 to accommodate M6 bolts. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, so I have laid out the steel plates that will support the caster wheels. And they will be sticking out. It will give more stability. And also it will give me access to the bolts. So the next step is to clean the welding edges and weld these plates to the mobile base. Okay, I'm going to clean the edges that will be welded. So now I will put the bolt here, put this bolt in the corner and we will go as far as we can. Okay. So that's how we are going to weld it on this edge and on this edge. Let's do it. The inverter welder, DC welder is set to 75 amps. Okay, time to attach the casters. I'm using M6 bolts, stainless steel. Double stainless steel washer. Okay, this one hole needs widening. Okay. Test it out. Okay. It works fine. I'm happy with that. So the next step will be to move the heavy machine to this mobile base. I'm going to lift it up on the lumber and then remove the pallet and slide the carriage, the mobile base underneath.
Okay, the next step, I raised the machine, now I should be able to pull out the pallet, okay. Okay. I'm locking the casters. So now is the difficult part. Time for a small victory lap. The machine is already on the wheels. So finally I'm able to move, move it around. Okay, mobile base for the table saw is complete, thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to Tiger Carpenter and see you again in the next video, thank you again for watching, bye bye.